how to configure BGP path AS path prepending. I got this note from this document actually. So I'm gonna read it here. Whenever a route update passes through an AS, the AS number is prepended to that route, to that update. The AS path attribute is actually the list of AS numbers that a route is traversed in, in a, as a traversed in order to reach a destination. An AS set is an ordered mathematical set of all the ASs that have been traversed. The CIDR example 2 AS set section of this document provides an example of AS path. So it's saying here that whenever a route update passes or a network passes an AS, this number is attached to that uh, update or to that route. The AS path attribute is actually the list of AS numbers that a route is traversed in in order to reach a destination. Okay, so in this example, I mean in the example in this section, RTB advertises network here in AS200. When that route traverses AS300, which is here, RTC appends its own AS number to the network. So when this network reaches RTA, the network has two AS numbers attached. Uh, one is 200, then 300. For RTA, uh, the path to reach this network is 300, 200. So from here, then there. The same process applies to once this network, which is the one here in RTA or in AS100, and this network, RTB has to take path 300, 100. RTB traverses 300 and then 100 in order to reach this network. RTC has to traverse 200 in order to reach this network and path ES to, in order to reach this network. It's kind of easy to understand. So let me just uh, go here to my note. So yeah, this I got this these statements from this document. So I'm gonna read it again. Whenever an update, a route update passes through an AS, the AS number is prepended to that update. The AS path attribute is actually the list is actually the list of AS numbers that a route has traversed has traversed in order to reach a destination. So prefers BGP prefers the path with the shortest AS path. So less is more. Or less is better. Okay, so this is the topology that I'm going to use in this video. So R1 and R2 are both in AS1 and R3 is in AS2 and let me just put it here, EBGP, and then this side as well. So R1 has a EBGP peering with R3 and same with R2. It has a EBGP peering with R3. And I'm just going to show you the BGP configuration. You can see here that R1 is advertising this route to into BGP, the same here. And R3 is actually learning that route um, uh, using this next stop. I mean, this one. Yeah, so I think, oh uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do in this video is basically uh, append a 3AS path, 
paths uh, to network, I mean, to from R1 to neighbor R3 so that R3 will not, will see this uh, path worse compared to this path, uh, to this path between R3 and R2. Because right now, R3 is choosing this path. So, uh, in addition to what we have just discussed here, ASPath is a BGP attribute that you can use to influence inbound traffic. So, in this case, R3 is trying to get to you know, this network, 1.1.1.0 um, slash 24, and R2 I mean, R1 and R2 are both advertising the same, the same route. So let me actually, I'm curious, is it the same IP address? Yeah, same IP address. Okay. So yeah, that's what we are going to do. Again, uh, we are trying to influence the inbound uh, traffic by manipulating uh, the, I mean, by setting the ES path or by prepending the ES path on R1 and make it longer. Because now it's by default, it is just one hop here. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. So I'm just going to copy let me just explain it here. So I'm just, you know, creating a route map named ASPath prepend. This is basically permit 10 is by default. And then I'm not matching anything. So meaning I'm matching everything. So set ASPath prepend. So I'm prepending our local AS number, which is one. And then apply that route map. This is the name of the route map outbound because we are influencing the inbound. Uh, traffic. So for this router to get to this network needs to, I mean, we're gonna, we're going to receive that, uh, that traffic, right? So we need to, uh, not actually outbound. No, no. So, sorry. So we are actually advertising this route here to have uh, longer AS path. So we are um, just um, informing R3 that this is our ES path, AS path, which is longer compared to R3. So that's what we are going to do, trying to do here. So I'm going to just copy and paste these commands. So again, R3 is choosing this route. So let's see what happens. Go back here. Let me just clear the, just to make it faster. The BGP session. So clear IP BGP start star soft. So that's not going to tear down the BGP connection. Okay, now we see that in order to get to this route, um, we're choosing this path. Um, and next up is R2. But in what before it was R1. And the reason is that the reason is that this path has a shorter path compared to this path. Let me actually just also show this to you. Yeah. So now we have two paths to get to two available to get to this route. So one is uh, this one. And the other one is this one. So we are choosing this because it has a um, shorter path or just one path actually, so best. 
and this is what we should see in the routing table as well. So this route, I mean this next tab. Okay, so here we're not, yeah, we are originating that route by ourselves, so that's fine, that's expected. Yeah, so that's how you can influence your inbound traffic. Did I say outbound earlier? Yeah, so that's how you can influence your inbound traffic by using, by configuring a AES path prepending and applying it outbound because you are uh, manipulating your inbound traffic. So, yeah, you apply it, you advertise it into network, so you, that's that's outbound because you want the other ESs to see, I mean, to see the particular attributes, BGP attributes that you actually configured with that uh, route. <clears throat> so that's how I think better to, that's how you, uh, one approach that you can use to, to understand it. So inbound, Again, you are ad, uh, manipulating your outbound, I mean, inbound traffic and applying it inbound. Right, so that's how you can configure BGP AS path attribute.